Good morning and welcome to Oakville Paper Boutique. Today's little discussion is actually about working with um, ribbons and buckles. Some of them can be a little bit tricky because obviously you want to get the final result to look perfect. So the one that I'm showing to start with is actually um, a heart shaped buckle. It's a double buckle and it has a little bit in the middle that dips down at the top of the heart. And so what we want to do is make sure that we still have that showing otherwise we lose the dimension of the buckle. So what I do to create that little dip, I take my piece of ribbon that I'm using and I'm actually going to sew it. That way I can gather it up a little bit and pull it in to show the top of the buckle. So just black thread, I've knotted it at the end and then I'm just going to weave my needle in and out all the way to the end pull it through, pull it tight, and then just sew the back so that it stays in place. So it's just one, one little bit of thread, stitch it a couple times so that it does not come undone. It doesn't have to look fancy on the back because it's going to be glued onto the invitation so no one's actually going to see it. And then you get that little dip in the middle which is needed for the buckle. So the next portion, this can be a little tricky. A lot of these buckles have rough edges, so you want to make sure that you thread it through, that it's as clean as possible. So I actually thread it through the smaller side first. I pull it up, and then trying not to let it catch on the edges of the buckle, I'll push it through to the other side so that it goes over the bar. I then pull it so that my gathering is in the middle, and I can then push it down and there's what I call my bow tie style bow threaded through this buckle. So this one's a little bit more complicated in that it does take a while to gather all the pieces, thread them through, and get them ready for the invitation. The second buckle I'm working with is a lot easier. It's, uh, it's just an oval buckle, and I don't have a very thick ribbon, so I don't need to gather it or do anything else with it. So I thread it through and then what I do is if I'm doing a lot of these I will actually just place the buckle where I want it to be on each piece of ribbon and when I have them all ready to go that's when I'll do the assembly of the pieces. So on this one I'm actually using a little bit of double-sided tape. I'm using a heavy-duty tape to keep the buckle in place. It really doesn't need much more than that because the ribbon will hold nice and tight. So I'll place that down and I'll make sure I press the ribbon down onto the tape so that it creates a little dip but nothing too severe and it doesn't get messy if you're using a glue gun. And then what I will do is depending on if I'm just doing a band, um, I can finish it with a buckle or if I'm finishing it up like this, what I'll do is I'll actually bring the end of the ribbon back onto the inside of the pocket and finish it up like that. So a couple little tricks um, is, not, is to make sure that you don't catch on the edges of the crystal. Use a double-sided satin ribbon. Don't use a single-sided because it's not thick enough to hold the buckle in place. And the double-sided, you don't have to fiddle with which way up your ribbon is going to go. So you can also use hot glue for some of these, but I do fit, tend to find that if you get any of the glue on the buckle, it gets messy. So I like to keep it nice and clean, nice and simple, and continue my way through. So that's it about buckles today for this little segment. Um, make sure you buy a good quality buckle. You don't want it to bend and break, especially as you're working with them. It can be frustrating. And um, always check your buckles to make sure you don't have any missing crystals before you begin. So thank you for joining us at Oakville Paper Boutique. You can reach us at www.oakvillepaper.com. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course at our retail store in Oakville at 77 Lakeshore Road West in Oakville, Ontario. And you can reach us by phone at 905-815-0122. So thank you for joining us and uh, we'll be working on our next segment.